Hello everybody, welcome back. Today's block we're going to need two different fabrics, both uh, four and a half inch squares and five of each. So five, I got red and five with my hearts. Now I've already done the work on all of them except for these obviously. So we're going to make this into a half square triangle or into two rather. So, and I'm no longer, no longer drawing the line, at least not for this one. This is a pretty small one. I'm confident that I can do it without stretching it so I'm going to take it and I'm, I pinned it on both sides to keep it kind of straight whoops and I'm just going to cut it corner to corner and then we're going to sew it straight down actually yeah I'm sorry we are going to sew it straight down and we're going to just I'm going to take it over lightly just like that I'm not even going to pin it again we're just going to go and sew it down Whatever like that. Get a little space there. Move it up to where the fabric actually is. Let's get our little piece here. We'll go cut these apart. Iron them to the black side. Now we're not going to trim these just yet. We're going to turn them into hourglass blocks. Now this will make two. I only need nine for this, so I will have an extra one. But we'll see what we can do with it later on. I'm only lining up my seams right there. And then again, I'm just going to draw a line down through. However, I am going to pin my seam right here on one side close to the line. And the other reason I'm only doing it on one side is because I need to lay my, my, my ruler down on the other. So I won't be able to do both. Just cut that straight across. Now I want my seam to line up still. So I'm going to pin that. And we're going to sew these down through just like the other one. Now it did move a little but I'm not worried about it. We're going to trim a bit off of it so now I only need one of these but I am going to go ahead and sew them both up because I will like I said I'll use this one in something. I just don't know what yet. Maybe I'll stitch together all my stuff. Maybe I'll add it to my crumb quilt. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, we're going to cut the one off. That's all I need. Let's iron it open. And it really doesn't matter because they're the same. So it doesn't matter what one you iron it to. So now we have our hourglass and we're going to trim it down to three and a half inches. So first we're going to trim two sides of it. So we need to line our one and a quarter, I'm sorry, one and three quarter inch uh, line or dot up there in the middle. And then we'll line up our diagonal. Let's move this for a minute. We don't want to slice it. There we go. Turn it around. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to line up the th one and three quarters, but we're also going to line up the diagonal again and our three and a half inches around the edge. We're going to trim that off. Let's move that out of the way. Now we'll have, again, you would have 10 
but my one is on the sewing machine so we're only going to need nine and we're going to lay them out opposites just like that for the top row and then this is going to go let me see that's not right like this wait a minute yeah just like that and then the bottom row will match the top row like that pretty cool I like the pattern it makes so now we're just gonna sew our rows together those two these two and these two and I'm not gonna match anything up I'm just gonna fold them over at the sewing machine or here and we're gonna take them over to the sewing machine and just sew straight down whoops wrong button if you're not comfortable holding it like this by all means pin it but this is just for me I'm not a very particular person mistakes happen it'll look like what it looks like but again if you're new at it or you know you want it to be perfect pin it Also, I'm I'm pull I'm folding it over over there and pulling it straight over so I know exactly what needs so which side needs them. And when I cut this off, I'm gonna do it one at a time. And I know the top one, the top one here was my middle one. So when I cut this off, it's just like this. Let me try to get that on camera. This is the top. So when I cut it off here. I know when I fold it over, where's my camera? When I fold it over, this one was my middle one. So I'm just gonna pull the other one and lay it on top of it and sew that right up. Now, if you're not sure of that, by all means, take it back over to your area over there and iron it open, lay it back out, double check your pattern, make sure it's right. Again, my seam was on this side so I know when I open it, I can't see, it was on this side. So it opens on this side. So I know when I open it, this was my middle one. So I'm just gonna lay it on there. And sew it down. That one may have slipped, we might have to redo it. Maybe, maybe not. Last one. And the seam was on this side, so when I open it, I go this way. So now, when I cut, I don't. If I don't cut them apart, they're going to come out exactly like they're supposed to lay. So let's go back over. Grab my pressing mat while I'm over here. So then it's just like this. So we're going to iron the top to, I'm going to turn this, I'm going to iron it to the inside. And then the bottom, or the middle one I'll iron to the outside. And then again, the bottom ones, or the middle ones, or the <laughs> the bottom one, I will iron to the outside. And now when I lay it back out, it is ironed open. And it should lay exactly how my block will lay. I like this one. So now we're just going to fold this down. 
and pin it. Put one in the end. Pin the other seam. In the beginning. And then we're going to fold this up and fold this one up. And then I'm just going to flip it over so it's easier for me to pin. We'll pin at the seams first. Well, now I'm going to pin that seam and then the, the end. Sorry about that. And then this one. And I'm not going to pin the beginning of this one because I'm just going to carry it over and we're going to sew them up. isn't really big enough for me to do the little spinny thing that I like to do. So we'll just cut it off. Flip it around. seam didn't match up very well but whatever I'll set the flower pot on top of this square it's very bulky through there one day maybe I'll start ironing my seams open but that day is not today there it is I hope you enjoyed the tutorial tutorial. I hope you make it and love it and I will see y'all next time. Have a great day.